Um, uh, I'm sorry, Hawks. You want us to do what? Hmm. Let's be honest. Either give him a recommendation, okay, or just go ahead and put him in your top class. Those are your only options if you don't want him to embarrass and dominate everyone else on his section. Hmm. Do you really think he's that powerful? Oh, I know he is. For one, he decided to get a job at the Hero Association, the Safety Commission, whatever. Okay, that doesn't mean he's killed before. Nani? You heard me. He's killed before, and he did not seem to be bothered by it. He's just a teenager, yeah, but apparently he has blood on his hands and he ugh, does not care. As far as he's concerned, it was just him doing what heroes do. But we don't kill people. <laughs> apparently he's going to be a new breed of hero if we ain't careful. I don't think any of us can really stop him besides you. Me? I mean, Aizawa couldn't. <laughs> you don't understand. He's corkless. Yeah, he's corkless. He isn't. Everything they've done to test his resilience, strength, speed. Ugh. Endurance. Good Lord. If we're not careful, he's going to end up putting us all out of business. What? Yes. Because there's only a slim chance of a villain surviving his onslaught. Really? Just me. We tried burning him. We tried freezing him. We tried poisoning him. None of it worked. Nothing worked. You have to realize how broken that is. <sighs> I, I don't know this. Do you even think? I don't know. I'm kind of curious. As a don't do this unless you're going to give him a whole area to himself. You, you will get only one student out of this test in his specific area. Hmm. Interesting. But... Listen to me. He that you want to be. He's going to embarrass those kids. I promise you. He's going to embarrass those kids. They might not even want to be heroes after what he may end up doing. He's corkless and he has power. That is ridiculous. The thing is, the way he talks, the way he walks, it's so... It's intimidating, but it's also very calming, benevolent, almost. It, why? Why? It was like... I. I don't want to hurt you unless I have to type vibe. It's, yeah. Seriously, since I was eavesdropping on him, he knows me. What? Yes. Why didn't you just use it for that? I did. He already has his first mission. I, I feel so sorry for his victim. What? 
Yeah, someone from uh, the Toga family wanted to make sure that their daughter didn't cause any problems. What kind of parents don't ask me? I don't know. But either way, he seemed like he didn't mind the potential brutality in my ensue. Wait, in, in that case, are we sure we want him at our school? <laughs> Regardless if he goes to your school or someone else's, he definitely wants to be a hero. We should be grateful. What? It's the fact that he doesn't seem to care about who really knows. Though, yes, he's very converted on how He's, uh, doing things. He had no problem telling us. At least high-ranking officials of what he's been doing. Really? Yes! So, what's your suggestion again? Just let him pass. Let him take the theoretical, okay, but the practical, leave him, show it, or give him recommendation one, either way. Yes, who? Uh, we'll leave it up to you, you're the principal. Hmm. Well, that would be the easiest choice, it doesn't seem like it would be the most... Fair. Ugh. Fair? It won't be fair for the embarrassment of poor kids who had to go through because of this man. I understand your reasoning, Hawks, but I'm pretty sure judging from how you're Describing him, he wouldn't take such an easy way out. What? Who wouldn't take such a get out jail free option? Hmm, think about it. If he were to close by on a test like that, he, that'll pretty much mean all his. Training that would just mean his reputation precedes him. That's all it means. You know what? Fine. Try this. Offer it to him. If he says yes, great. If he doesn't, oh well. Either way, be prepared to have a backup test afterwards. Hmm. You seem to be very confident. Oh, yes. Yes, I am. This... This boy is not... Not normal. I don't know who trained him, but... The amount of scars... He has is... That can be considered abuse. Hmm. Very well. We'll see what he says. Oh no, I'm taking the practical. What? We just offered you! I know, but that doesn't seem fair. Wait, but why would you? Oh, it's the Hero Association. Yes. It was Hawks, wasn't it? Wait, how did you? Mm. Tell that bird brain to mind his own business. If anything, I don't need no one's help. So, can I start the test? Sure. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. 
Prodigal starts, Izuku has no qualms when it comes to wrecking everything. He hasn't destroyed the buildings thanks to his godly <laughs> control, but he is destroying every single robot. His special awareness is bullshit. To the point where everyone is wondering, wait, where are the robots? They're gone. When they find one, in a flash, it's destroyed. There's nothing left but gears, strap metal, and motor oil. That is all that's left when it comes to Izuku's carnage. There is no one able to get points. Just like Hawk said, he is a monster. And it just adds insult to entry the fact that he is quirkless. Aizawa has no qualms using his quirk. He is looking at Izuku specifically. And Izuku is looking right back at him. With a cocky ass smile. Like, I see you. Those of you who did watch that Just League movie, which, how could you not by now at least? Is think of Aizawa when uh, the Flash saw that Superman was looking at him. The shock on his face that like, he's looking directly at me. How is that possible? Almost like he could see through the glass and look right into his soul. Ezu. He is all too interested to see what Izuku can really do. So instead of just a one zero pointer, he puts in three. All the teachers are looking at him like he's crazy, but he's just there. Like, I want to see what he can do. He has caught my attention. Ezu, if you kill any of these students, you know we cannot survive that type of bad... Reputation. I have faith in him. I guess we should start calling our lawyers. As soon as Zuhu notices the robots, he is instantly happy. As if he knows exactly why they're here. And RP Zero Pointers. It's when he's finished out the last one. When things get little, what the hell just happened? As he gets blasted and sent flying through, let's say, five buildings. Zuku, he marches right up to Ayama, looking at him with a pissed off anger induced to malice filled smile. Did you just shoot me? It was an accident. Why don't I believe you? I, I swear I did not mean for that to happen. You know what? Water under the bridge. Let's hug it out. As kind of being more of a father figure, Isuku stretches out his hands as if he is really trying to hug Ayama. Which this is Izuku's stance. While Yujiro has his arms outstretched like he's about to pounce on your ass, Izuku is more like a calming intimidating don't worry I'm not gonna hurt you type of aura I know obviously terrified because he knows like I am not that stupid but Izuku's whole presence is pure intimidation yet warmth as if he really doesn't want to hurt you but you know he will if he gets his hands on you. 
Sadly, I am a jealous ball for that. Only thing is, just like a parent, Izuku starts scolding him. As, yes, he whoops Ayama in front of everybody. Telling him this is what you get for trying to trick me. Yeah, the test is over. They do tell the other students and police participants that they'll get another chance. Ayama is happy at this too, but he's also like, oh, why is it there? So I ain't going to be able to. It's like, nope, you are not going to be walking for a while. He keeps talking about how his ass is sore as hell, but everyone just looks at him funny. <laughs> Though they know what happened, the way he's saying it is, sounds so much worse. And Ayama is, of course, just at this. So, he decides to confront Izuku again. Well, there are less people around. Izuku walks into an alleyway. Ayama falls in with him. Well, I think is once he, he turns a corner, Izuku's gone, and Ayama is not unconscious. So he wakes up, <laughs> Izuku's just sitting in a chair. Did you really think that was going to work? You knew? Oh, oh, yes, I knew. I knew you were following me. And though I am flattered. I'm not interested in your crap. Seriously, what the? So, Ayama, who sent you? Wait, what? <sighs> Don't play dumb. Great. I'm sorry. Come on, I know you're not stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't understand the question. Okay, okay. Let me uh, shed some uh, light when it comes to my uh, origin, my background story. Growing up, I was quite the hero nerd, <laughs> you know, uh, a fanboy growing up, oh, and I really wanted to be a hero, you know, like like everyone else, like most like most people would be, right? Uh huh. But then I learned something. That uh, mm, broke my heart, you could say. I learned I was quirkless. What? Yeah, apparently I was born without a quirk. Which, yeah, sucks. Yeah. But, mm, before I really met the one who trained me, you know, my master or whatever, I took it upon myself to learn more about quirks, which only came a stronger obsession when it comes to my training. Because yes, I may be quirkless, but that doesn't mean I can, uh, I can't beat someone with one. Wait, what? Yeah, I started to really focus on my uh, potential opponents. People I might have to end up fighting with. Hmm. And I noticed something off. 
wherever you were trying to shoot me. Wait, what do you mean? I did shoot you. So you admit to shooting me on purpose. Well, either way, one thing I did notice is that your quirk seemed to have quite a backlash on you. What? Yeah, as soon as uh, you fired that thing, I saw that you seemed to show a bit of discomfort. Which, honestly, would very much surprise me if you... Unless you either haven't trained that quirk ever in your life before recent uh, events. Or, yeah, that, this is just me spitballing. That wasn't your quirk to begin with. Know what you're implying. It's either that wasn't your quirk or you are stupid for not even thinking about training it. Because hell, there are people who have fire control as a quirk. I know a motherfucker that has explosions coming out of his hands because he sweats like a whispering. <laughs> Seriously, I know for a fact that his bones must be aching from the amount of potential training he's been through. His muscles and bones left. Oh, shock me. <sighs> if anything, people who want to be heroes usually know right away that they want to be heroes. Hell, I was one of them. Still am. I, I know what I want to be. Even, but no matter how powerful a court may seem, they're not dumb enough to not train it. Especially if it has a backlash they need to work on. So, if anything, your quirk seems very sus. Powerful as it may potentially be. It seems rather stupid for you not to have a bit more resistance. Wait. But that's just me. So, want to tell me what's going on? Or am I going to have to do something more drastic? I, I'm sorry, what? Huh. Let me tell you like this. Believe it or not, I would like you to, you know, Throw out the shackles of whoever is making you do this to begin with. Instead, why don't you align yourself with me? What? Yeah. You'll be working with me from now on. I... I, I can't. Why not? If I, I can't betray the person who gave me this quirk. Really? So, that truly wasn't your quirk. No. No. Hmm. 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 No. <laughs> uh, so, who gave you that quirk? I can't tell you. He'll kill me. Kill you? 
Where did the guy go to do? Wait, no, you, 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 you wouldn't. I so thought you put too much faith in humanity if you think I won't. You tried to kill me. Why wouldn't I do that to you? Like, also the whole fact of my parents really y yes okay so what the person has your family hostage or something if I don't cooperate interesting Huh. Well, that explains them. What? Kayama just seeing the dead bodies? So... You, 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 you. Oh, yeah, I killed them. Well, I killed most of them. What? Is then these here just walking, and is everyone's favorite psychopath? Oh yeah. Uh, wait, I I know you. You're the demon child. Her just running up to him, bang her knife to his throat. I don't like it when people call me that. My name is Himoko Toga. Nice to meet you. I am a yoga. It's, it's, it's yoga. Whatever. The way you give him uh, your sales pitch yet? Eh, more or less. More or less. <laughs> he has a choice whether he wants to work with us or not. Just hopefully he's not an idiot. I don't see myself as having much of a choice. Of course you have a choice. You just better pick the right one. I can't endanger it. Seriously? Okay, okay, whatever. I can ensure your family's safety. What? Yeah. Easy peasy. No. Well, for one, you're not going to be joining your way. What? Yeah, you are not joining my school. I... But... But if I don't, I... Oh, don't worry. I am a will be in UA. You just won't be. But I. Siku just <laughs> taking a drop of Ayam's blood from his nose. Then Toga just licks it off his finger. Then she turns into <laughs> Ayama. With a shine and sparkle in her eyes, just the same as him. What the? Oh, yeah. So, just so you know, she can keep this up for as long as there's blood flowing. Wait, what? It means, though we would need you to be alive? You don't have to be in one piece. I, uh, I, 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 so, yeah, trying to give you a chance to save yourself. 
I don't know what to really say. No, just yes or no. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter to me. I'm still going to get what I want. Hmm. Are you in contact with this individual who gave you a quirk somehow? Yes. Huh. What do they want you to do? Well. Um, uh, give them information. Uh, provide locations and things like that. Just, you know. Hmm. Okay. That sounds interesting. So, heck. I guess you were an idiot and tried to attack me. Who knows if you actually did end up attending UA. Who knows the power havoc you would wreak. Well, I... Huh. If anything, you would make a great informant. Thing is, I don't trust you. What? What? Nothing. So, yeah. If anything, I could just kill you, but then the blood will run dry. So, being on your answer, I can just hack you to pieces. What? Oh, don't worry. You just won't have arms or legs. You'll still be alive. But you will never be able to run a marathon or slap, play a piano, jump rope ever again. I... Are you sure you... Oh, no. I told you. I want to be a hero. Koga, on the other hand, wants to be more of a anti-hero. Eh, I just think I just don't really care. Though she does want her parents to die. What? Hey, those jerks abandoned me. Uh, good point. Good point. So, are you sure? Mm. Uh, let's just say I just contemplating whether I should I just get rid of you? Should I attempt to persuade you, really? I don't know. I mean, I, I wouldn't mind it if you would spare me. Oh, really? Good. Hmm. But I gotta have some something that could uh, make sure you don't try to betray me. I don't really know what that should be. Oh, wait, I have a friend. Koga, you have friends other than me? Oh. Okay, first of all, don't act so shocked. Second, we're not friends. We're so much more close. <clears throat> right, so this friend. Talk to me. Well, his name is twice. At least that's his uh, villain name. Uh, okay. He's a bit unstable in the head. Okay. I can see why he's your friend. Anything else I need to know? Oh, yes, he can create duplicates. Excuse me? Yeah. Interesting. Wait. Oh, you got to became a... He can actually make 
Yes. Oh, ho, 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 baby, that is perfect. That is perfect for just what I need. What? what? Look at all these dead bodies. Do you really think the person who put him up to this isn't going to think, huh, I wonder where those minions I left with this dumbass kid went. It's going to be kind of suspicious, don't you think? Oh. So yeah, call up your friend, please. That makes me so much more eh, convenient. Are you saying you're just going to use my friend to help you dispose of corpses, yet keep them like, exactly. That's exactly what I plan on doing. <sighs> okay, fine, fine. I'll, <sighs> I'll I'll let him know. Thank you. Is it good giving Toga a kiss on the cheek, make her blush, but also have a smile? <sighs> Seriously, she is a lot. I mean, <laughs> I mean, she's great and all, but wow, can she be a handful? Yeah. So, um, quick question: Where did you meet her? Oh, ah. Eh. If anything, I actually met her before I even decided to hmm, work for the Heroes Association, Safety Commission, whatever. If anything, she was pretty banged up. Don't know what happened to her. She sure as hell doesn't want to hmm, talk about it. In which I just don't f I don't pry. As curious as I may be, I don't pry. Huh. Okay. But yeah, if anything. If she does She does a lot. Now, she's been through a lot, from what I can tell. So, I'll try my best to make sure she's all right. So, you really care about her? Oh, yeah. If anything, I want to reunite her. What? Oh, yeah, I want to reunite her with her siblings. Excuse me? Yeah. I've been doing some digging on her background as well. <laughs> it's crazy, really. Well, she seems fairly stable. Uh, yeah. Now, at least. Ugh, I could imagine. Hmm. Eh. It doesn't matter. All I can say is there's a lot I probably wouldn't be able to do without her. Like hell, she has a half of me, brother, somewhere. What? Yep. I say, mm, should be at least what two years older. Oh yeah, he has a strong quirk, but it must be a pain for him to control. You're kidding! Oh no, I've seen him before. Yeah, 
It's crazy when you really think about it. Okay, she has a famous brother, but eh, doesn't matter. Either way, I'll be right back. I'm going to have to see if I can uh, schedule a meeting. Wait, wait, wait what, what about me? Hmm? What about you? You just going to leave me here? Yes. Smile, I'll put you. You... You can take me home! Ugh, wait. Dude, I am not... I, no, you... Asshole! That's not what I meant. Seriously, now who's being suspicious? I just can still kill you right now, you know that. So. Good point, good point. But no, just let me check on my family. No. Ugh. I'm trying to think. A little time alone will help, help you, uh... Uh, I don't know. Clear your head. Collect your thoughts. Oh yeah, and don't even think about using your quirk, well, your stolen quirk to escape. It's not going to end well for you if you do. You threatening me? No, I'm inviting you to a tea party. You damn right I'm threatening you. <laughs> Seriously, try anything. There's no one. I can really protect you from me. Well, there is somebody. But I doubt he can even give a damn. Okay. Who is this person? Why should I tell you? Come on, aren't we supposed to trust each other? I just met you in the first time we technically met you tried to kill me. You shot me! I... <sighs> Good point. I know. Anyway, yeah, see you later, Ayama. Doga? Where is he? He is. This dude just knocks out twice. Thinking he was insane, but tell him, like, I told him not to do that. But this is your friend? Yes. Why did he? He's like, I don't know. Huh. Well, that happened. I don't mean. Oh, my head. Oh, man, my head hurts. Do it again. Oh. Okay, I'm thinking about knocking him out again. But, you know. Oh, uh, he wouldn't dare. I dare you to do it. Okay, what's wrong with him? Long story short. He would only really use his quirk to duplicate himself. And things got iffy. Mm. Let me see. Villain names. Ah. I think I know what happened. Really? Please, do tell. Tell me what you know about me. I'm so excited. I love stories. Considering that you may use your quirk on yourself, chances are that after so long of you using your own duplicates, they started arguing on who was the real one, betrayed you, and started killing each other. Uh, 
Honestly, now that you have seen yourself died countless times, you start to question whether you are the real you. Am I somewhere in the right ballpark? Ah. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. So now you only do duplicates of others. Correct. Okay, cool. In that case, I want you to make some duplicates of uh these individuals. Isuku showing you have pictures on his cell phone. Huh. They seem to be sleeping very soundly. Wait a minute, those are dead bodies. Yes. Did you kill them? Most of them. Oh my god, that's hot. What? Calm down. At least I'm trying to calm down. Can I kill him? No, he's my friend. All the more reason. Hey, hey, buddy. Can I call you buddy? My name's Suku. I'm going to call you buddy. You don't have to worry about me, okay? I'm a cool dude. You ain't gonna threaten me, try to kill me, even though I'll be very, very exhilarating. But, I'd rather not die, and I'd rather help you, because this little bloodsucker seems to like you. So I like you too. Let's be friends. Nah. What's the worst that could happen? Hmm. Fine. Does that mean you can untie me? No. That's fine. In, in fact, I, I don't mind being tied up. It, it, it's fine. But this is very refreshing, huh? It's been a while. <laughs> hmm. Please have him get me out of here. Izuku. No. 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 Uh-uh. Izuku. Um, fine. Him just cutting the rope with his bare fingers. Man, maybe I should call you Mr. Scissorhands instead of a buddy. So we'll get him away from me before I really do kill him. Uh, come on. Wrong with my nickname's there? He. Yeah. Either way, can you do it? Yes, but I need their exact measurements. What? You won't need to measure the bodies. What? So you can't just. Nope. Show me the bodies. Come on, I won't bite. Hmm. Fine. Seeing that Ayama is still tied up, Toga questions like why? Give him a chance to serve his options. Or well, twice is like, oh, this is not a friend of yours? Huh, you tied him up too. Is this some, some kind of thing you do? Like, only with people I don't trust. <gasps> so, did he? No. Seriously. You tie us up, but you won't tie her up? Why? Oh, I know why. I swear, if you finish that thought, I will gut you. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll keep it to myself. Oh, but still, 
I know uh, my friend must feel left out. What? Oh, come on. You do as the people you're close with. Of course she would feel left out that you let her, didn't let her experience it herself. Go so get him away from me or else I will splatter his guts all throughout this. Okay, fine. Why is this not? What? Why is it shine? Oh. <clears throat> How long have I been? Don't worry. It's just been a day. Wait! No, I gotta... I know. Yeah, to pass the interest exam. You will. Well, actually, you did. What? But how? Did you forget about my friend? Friend? For the way she, she, I ain't you, she, she, one could assume she's more than a, as Zuku does have a slight blush on his face, like, well, I'll be damned, you do have emotions. Oh, yes, trust me, you haven't seen me angry yet. Ah. <laughs> uh. Good point, good point. If anything, I want to see you mildly frustrated. I don't know. Mildly frustrated means that you will have lost a finger by now. Okay. Understood. So, uh, if you don't mind me asking, what's the plan? Hmm. Well, I won't kill you. But you are gonna be uh, MIA for a while. What? Right now, uh, I'm making arrangements for everyone who's watching you and your family. All this, the security this person has on you. I'm taking care of them and replacing them. What? I'm killing them, then replacing them with doubles. But, but, but I, I, I... Yeah. Enough talking. I'm getting out of here. Me and Toga have an... An appointment. Oh. So you're finally going to treat her like she won't. Right? I could still kill you. Or worse, leave you alive, but barely able to function. I apologize for my outburst. Hmm. Yes. As yes, Toga and Izuku do go out for a nice little walk. Only thing is, Toga doesn't look like Toga. At the very least, she dyed her hair and was wearing contacts. And Izuku was nice enough so she didn't have to file down her fangs. Fortunate. As, yeah, they do arrive by this uh, quaint little establishment. <sighs> Where is he? He'll be here. He has to be. Hey, uh, are you Izuku Midoriya? Yes. Are you Mirio Togata? Mirio Togata. 
whatever. Yep. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Right? You're my brother? It, wait. Helga? Himi? Himi Kotoga? How? I haven't seen you since you were a baby. What? Yep. Haven't you noticed the similarity in your, your names, at least? Mirio Tokata, Himiko Toga. Wait, please explain this. Yeah, let's just say someone wasn't so faithful as he should have been with their spouse. Well, yeah, Mario's your half brother. I mean, you do have other siblings, but eh, they have no, they have no real uh, wanting to see you. What? Yeah, they sh you just don't seem like they care. We'll say that. Oh. Yeah. So, for anything, if you guys want, I can leave. Please don't. Hmm? Yeah. Um, Sigmodara, you can, you, you can stay with us. I mean, she doesn't even... She didn't even know about me until you. Hmm. You sure? This seemed more like a family moment. Well, family. Huh? Heck, you're a lot closer to me than he is. No. No, 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 no. Yep, I'm going. I'm leaving. Thank you. Please stay. I have to. Please. Fine. Whatever. Want to talk? We are talking. You make a talker. Let's. Socialize. So, who wants to start this conversation off? Me, oh, just bursting out in tears, wondering where have you been? What happened to you? Last thing I heard is that you went crazy. This instantly getting, uh, Mixed reaction from Toga. Her looking at him like he's crazy. Is like, of course, they would say I went crazy. I I snapped. Well, that tends to happen when you're told all your life to not be who you are and just pretend just to be normal. And it becomes this whole thing to the point where they have to leave before things get overly emotional and people start staring at the crying people. He's happy to have helped, but also was like, oh man, I really wish I didn't have to be here. But Himiko is more than happy to see someone she really didn't expect to see. Now that that is the end of this. Oh hallelujah! I can be random as fuck again. <laughs>